Hello everyone. I'm doing an apartment turn and wanted to talk to you about the various equipment I use for painting my rental properties. So the first item is the brush. And normally I'm always about saving money, but when it comes to a brush, I don't buy the cheap brush. It just these work so much better. This is a pretty clear cut. I've used the same brush for years. So uh, as much as you paint, if you do your own rental property painting, go ahead and spend the 14, 15 bucks to get a decent brush. I just bought this one today to try out. It's a little bit softer brush and I thought I'd give it a try to see if it's any better. Uh, this one's fairly, the clear cut's pretty stiff and sometimes leaves lines as you're cutting in. So hopefully the, the uh, nylocks will not leave as many lines. This is a Wooster Pelican. And I absolutely love this thing, except I wish it was about an inch or two deeper so it held more paint. But the beauty of this is you put your paint in the bottom, it holds your brush with a magnet, and then you can put your roller here on the side. Um, but as you can see, there's not much room for paint in the bottom. That's my only complaint about it. But it's great to have both these together um, when you're up on a ladder or whatever cutting in so you don't have to get down to you know use the brush and go back up with the roller. So it saves you a lot of trips. As for the roller, for cutting in, I prefer this type of roller as opposed to this. I use these on when I'm painting doors because I like that you can use the, the edges of it here to get into the, the, you know, the cracks of where that it's beveled on the edge of the door. So that works nice for that. But what I don't like is when you're trying to cut in, if I'm trying to roll around here, if I'd happen to get too close, then you get a, make a mess. You can do this on the wall or ceiling, you get too close with this type. So for cutting in, I typically prefer to stick to this type of roller, just a regular four inch roller. Now for painting the walls, I use an 18 inch uh, almost exclusively. Um, so this is a Wooster 18 inch roller. This is a used one on here. But I use the White Dove um, just because that's the only one that's available at Lowe's where I get this stuff. And then you'll need to get a paint tray that's big enough to accommodate your 18 inch roller. And then this, this is a cheap adjustable handle so it telescopes, you press a button, it telescopes out. I think I got this at Walmart, it's not too much, but it is very handy to have at telescoping so when you're working on different heights or if you're in a in a hallway or whatever and need to shorten it up. Um, it comes in handy for that. And then you'll need just a basic ladder. This works fine for most eight foot ceilings. Um, of course, obviously if you've got 12 foot ceilings or whatever, you'll, you'll need something a little taller. And then lastly, the garbage bag, which comes in very handy, just any garbage bag um, to put your rollers in. I usually keep a couple grocery store bags on hand too to put my brush in. You put your roller in there when you leave at night or go to lunch, stick it in the fridge and it'll last for hours without drying out. So that's the basic uh, equipment setup that I have for painting. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.